Hey buddies, what's good? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker and Lulu. How are we doing? What's good? Uh, you can see Lulu's ears here. What's up, Lou? How are you doing? Hey guys, we're gonna do a little vlog today. It's gonna be kind of serious. Like, I don't wanna, you know, normally I I'm gonna like laugh and joke around. I'm gonna try to not do that today because it's kind of a serious topic, but it's something I've been wanting to talk about for years. Like, I have made this video probably 10 times and never put it up because it's it's both a very personal thing to talk about and like kind of a kind of a shocking thing to talk about. And I don't want to freak you guys out. I don't want to. I, I don't know. I don't want to bring everybody down. But let's let's just promise that we're not gonna let whatever we talk about today become a bummer because it's not. Like I'm good now. I'm good. I made it through everything that I've been through, and I've been through a lot. And I'm not trying to like congratulate myself. I'm trying to tell you guys because it could happen to you, it could happen to somebody you love, and it's just a fact of, of life uh, in, in 2018. So we're gonna get right into it, guys. Five years ago, I stopped doing drugs. And before that, I was just out there, man. I, I was just out there. I mean, I, I, I was doing, you know, a, a lot of different drugs, but of course, opiates were the one that I was doing. And I say, of course, because that's like what's happening in, in America and all over the world right now. Um, people are really throwing their lives, I, I shouldn't say throwing their lives away, people are losing their lives to, to opiates, literally and figuratively. I mean, it, it steals your soul, it can steal your life. And guys, I was, I don't know, I guess addicted to, to this since I was like 17, 18. I mean, it, it sounds, it sounds insane, right? It sounds insane, but um, you know, just started on like pain pills and I'm not gonna get it to, you know, too graphic on it, but that's probably what you guys have heard. And the world has gotten a lot better in that, but you know, eight years ago or whatever, it was really easy to get pain pills from a doctor even, you know, you, you didn't even have to buy them on the street. You could like generally get a doctor to give them to you if you had a good reason. And you know, things have gotten better in that, but it doesn't matter. People got hooked and once you get hooked, you become a different person. And like, it, it makes me so bummed out to even think about, but you know, even the best person turns into a terrible person for, for a certain amount of time. I know I was, I mean, I stole from my, like my mom, like my mom is so good to me. And like, I, you know, I, I've stolen from her, I've stolen from my dad. And that, that stuff is, is the worst stuff. And it took a while, it took a lot of tries, but the thing that really got me out of it, guys, is you. Like, I, there's no other way to say it. Like games and you. I would have not made it this far without you because right when I got out of rehab the third time, I mean, that sounds stupid, right? It's like, yeah, I had to go three times, like waste everybody's money and time. Yes, I know. It sucks. I hate it. But after I got out of rehab the third time, um, I was feeling good. I was on this new medication um, called Suboxone that, that keeps you from getting uh, cravings and withdrawals. So you physically can stop doing drugs. You, you don't feel the physical need to do drugs, but you still have the mental need to do drugs, right? You're telling yourself in your mind, like, yo, you could do drugs, you could get high, could be fun. And it's very hard to channel all that and, and say no to yourself because, you know, in your own head, you make a pretty good case. You're like, yeah, it'll be fun, dude. Come on, let's do it. But the only way I was able to stay away from that was a distraction. And guys, this this was the greatest distraction I ever could have had. I mean, um, I don't know, six months or a year after um, I really started getting serious about being sober, I found Clash of Clans. I got an iPad. I probably sold my old one, but I got a new iPad. My mom helped me get it. And I just started grinding on games. I started grinding on Clash of Clans. And a little while after that, my friends in, in Clash were like, yo, we should, um, you know, we should start recording our, our raids. We should show raids on YouTube. And, you know, I sort of slowly got into it. I was super shy. I think I still am in a lot of ways. And um, I just tried to slowly get into it. And it was something, it was an outlet. It was something to do. And one of the worst things for me was always, whenever I had money, I would just see a $20 bill and be like, oh, you can get a bag of something for that. You know, like you, you just equate it like this equals this. And it's so hard to stop your brain doing that. But after a while, I was like, yo, I could get a new game. Like you get 60 bucks together, you can get a new PlayStation game. Or yo, like I, I could waste 20 bucks on gems and Clash of Clans. And that started erasing all that other like old terrible thoughts. Not completely, of course, it was still like a struggle all the time, but I couldn't have done it without it, man. I couldn't have done it without like a, like, like a focus. And also, you know, you meet some cool people in games. Um, I feel like we all, um, 
sort of need the distraction for one way or another. You know, we just enjoy games or we need the distraction or both. And I met a lot of cool, like-minded people playing games. And I think that was one of the best things as well, because look, a lot of my real life friends, they were going through the same thing. You know, uh, some of them died. I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, I don't wanna bum people out, but like you can't keep hanging out with those people as long as they're um, doing the same things. So having, you know, even, even if you just know these people online, it's good to just get out of your old life and just have some new people like joke around with and mess around with. And that's what YouTube was. That's what gaming was for me, man. Um, for the first time in so long, people were actually like interacting with me in like a way where we weren't doing drugs and we were just having fun. And you guys were just like enjoying the videos, liking the videos we did. And, and I, suddenly I was like, yo, we can do this. Like we can just keep doing this. I mean, if YouTube hadn't worked out, who knows? Maybe I would have gone back, but I didn't. It did work out and I didn't go back. And I don't know, man. I don't know where the story ends. I don't know what else needs to be said, but I used to be a drug addict and now I'm a YouTuber. And uh, it's crazy, man. I'm I'm so thankful. Like, um, yeah, it, I get emotional about it a lot because... Most people don't get a second chance. Most people don't get a third chance. I, It's not even a third chance. It's so much more than that. I've come so close to, you know, I'm not gonna get graphic, but like I've I've had some close calls in life. I've had a lot of lot of close calls. I could have ended up in prison. I could have ended up dead. Um, and I don't know if I deserve that, but I'm gonna make the best of it. You know, what else can you do? It sounds like something from a movie, right? I'm gonna make the best of it, but you know, what else can you do? That's, that's all I'm gonna do. Um, I, I wanna just wrap this up by saying, look, the reason people generally start getting into these things is not because, you know, they're, they're just idiots that wanna throw their lives away. It's the exact opposite. People that get into drugs, generally, there's something going on. They've got depression. They've got, you know, even even serious, more serious mental disorders. Like I had a friend who was bipolar and, you know, people and I and I was seriously depressed a lot of my life. And this stuff helps like when you when you do drugs, it briefly helps. Of course, afterwards you get far worse. But don't think that people do this just to throw their own life away for no reason. Sometimes you feel like you have no choice. Something makes you feel better and you're like, yeah. I know it's ruining my life. I know I'm going to be worse later, but I just can't get it together right now. And you know, that, that can happen to anybody. And I think, uh, things get better as time goes on. Uh, people treat, you know, mental illness, better depression. There's a lot of things you can do now. There's a lot of great medicine. I'm still on some stuff today for depression. Like I don't, you know, who knows if I even need to be, but I just, I do because you know, you just take care of your stuff. You take care of yourself like that. And, and you don't end up going down these paths, hopefully. And, you know, none of us need to throw our lives away on this. And the amount of people that are out there watching this right now, I'm sure statistically, some of us are going to go down this path. Some of us are probably even going to, something bad is going to happen to us in this regard. Um, and just don't, just, just please don't just like, think about me. Like, look, I had cancer. I somehow survived that. Um, I was addicted to opiates. I somehow survived that. Um, just think of think of my stupid self. Whenever you know th this stuff, if it does come up in your life, you know, I, I'm normally never wanting to tell people what to do, but just please, please don't, please don't, you know, go, go down the road of like opiate pain meds or, or anything stronger than that. It's just not worth it. It steals your soul, man. It's just the end. It's the end. Anyway, that's it, guys. <laughs> I know this is pretty serious, and um, maybe when you hear stuff like this about people, it makes you think about them differently, but it shouldn't, man. We're all going through something like this at some point in our lives. None of us are, like, straight up perfect, like, people you see on TV. We all have something going on, and whether it's depression, whether it's drug addiction, you know, alcoholism just being plain insecure you know we, we all have problems but there's things that'll get you through whether it's a doctor or you know your family and friends or just some sort of distraction like what worked for me just find what makes you happy guys find what grounds you and just get through when you're in terrible situations like this if you guys have anything that's really causing you problems in your life right now maybe something like this will happen to me or 
or something even worse. I mean, there are worse things, you know? Just let us know in the comments below. Um, I'm sure not everybody really like wants to talk about it or not everybody wants to help people when they are talking about it. But uh, just know that, you know, I do care and I do think about you guys. And I, I, I th yeah, I just don't want anything bad to happen to you guys. So uh, please take care of yourselves out there. We're gonna stop rambling right now, but we love you guys so much. Thank you for coming out. Um, Lulu, thanks you too. <laughs> we're gonna see you guys uh, next time. I don't know what we're gonna do, but uh, try to do different stuff, you know? Because when I started, um, I never knew I would be doing this for like an extended period of time. And then all of a sudden, you know, we are. So I wanna do different stuff. And I think vlogs like this are a good thing. New games are a good thing. Whenever you guys think of something that you wanna see on the channel, be sure to let us know. We love you guys. Thank you for coming out. We'll see you next time. Peace.